He's talking to Dana. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Too easy, boy. The hype is real. Kamzachi Mayev remarkably does it again. He literally held Lee Jingliang up while he spoke to Dana White. Everybody, I come here for everybody. Come for everybody. I'm the champ. I'm the king. Everybody. There's a funny comment. They go Hamzat when he runs out of English. He goes because he was talking. He just at the end he just says ah. <laughs> <laughs> he has given up one strike in four fights. Give it up for Hamza Tumayu. Go! When I come to Sweden, I was 19 years old. I start to learn Swedish. We start to wrestle here. I did many times being a freestyle wrestling champion in Sweden. For me, it doesn't matter opponents. If he's ranked, he's not ranked. Ooh. If he gave you me some other guy, it doesn't matter. I just like, love to fight and go smash somebody. He likes to compete in everything. That's he's very athletic. He's only it? 19 over Young. there. He's got a lot of strength as well. Bloody hell. It doesn't matter what it is, it has to be like a competition. My friend Kay said to me, if you want to train with the best guys in the world, I have to come to the All-Stars. Very competitive. He didn't like losing, and he was always getting into arguments with all the, <laughs> the other guys. I saw him like a typical Chechenian guy. Very tough beast, honestly no mercy, but in the same time very humble. My first amateur fight was in Sweden. It was very fast, 36 seconds, something like that. One punch, the guy was wobbling left and right, like fucking... Like Hamza said, it was over in 36 seconds. Yeah, that's mad. One punch is all it took. Mm -hmm. I punched him, he fell down and uh, one punch took him out. I don't think he's, like, he's going to be distant with any amateur fight. 11, 12 and 0 or something like this. But all finishes. He was a tough Ooh. fighter, but I smashed his face with blood everywhere. And uh, I think I finished him in the second half. My goal is to be the best in the MMA, to be the best in the world. Like, Two rounds and his face looked like that. He looked like he got hit by a train. That's what he looked like. Top on number one. Fire at each other. He didn't even punch him. He nah. just he dodged. From, he he dodged, from but dodging. no, he hit him on the dodge. So he's, he did punch him. Oh. Yeah, he hit him clean. I thought he fell from just dodging. <laughs> no, <laughs> Neo from Matrix, like you yeah. dodge and it knocks the guy out at the same time. Yes. Don't just lose. Counts out. Disgusting. He's trying to, to prevent those are huge strikes. Beautiful uppercut. That uppercut definitely put him to sleep for a long time. He is out. It's beautiful uppercut. Gentlemen, I believe we are looking at the future wow. of mixed martial arts. So you know Boars, that's his name, it means wolf. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. Hamzat Jimmyab really is somebody that you need to take seriously. He's somebody that, you know, Garner's attention for the right reasons. Knockout power, great jiu-jitsu, strong wrestling, 
and the man is a psychopath. Simple <laughs> as that. He's a yeah. psychopath, but that's what I love. He's so good too. He's yeah. good at everything. Yeah. But we'll see when the competition ramps up. Exactly. Yeah. He's 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 insane. He finds finishes because he's so aggressive. <laughs> he doesn't wait. He doesn't play. He doesn't feel out the range. He just goes after you like he's a dog that was just held on a leash. Do you know who Hamza Chamayev is? Yes. That's that's another guy that everybody's like, I can't wait to see that motherfucker fight again. Can he I fight again tomorrow? See, I want to see him fight too. Can he fight tomorrow? Snoop. I fucking want to see him. Too. I don't know why, but I do want to see him. He's got it. Whatever that thing is, he's got it. And uh, from day one, I saw that he he was a uh, savage. He would not accept defeat. I, I just think about how oh, this belt, how to take this belt. People must like be so scared to fight him, like looking back at his fights and stuff and his KOs and his determination. Like, imagine you're the guy that's fighting he's next. He's brutal. Yeah, he's a brutal fighter. Like, someone kicked him and he didn't even flinch. He just carried on going. <laughs> he just carried on walking like yeah. fucking Punisher. The number one pump pump on the energy. UFC debut. My first two fights in the UFC, it was nice to be there, so I could feel how it was in the UFC, you know. An exciting fighter, an exciting debut. I, it, this is my place. A big smile on his face. Comes out. Oh! Here was comes out from before. He used to live here. You can tell that's something they probably worked on. A joke in the back came out, executed a big kick. When I come, yeah, I didn't have so much money. They said you can live in the gym. I was happy for that. Lived in the gym. Fuck it out. And it's off the top. Comes out Shumaya by submission. And he stays undefeated with an absolutely outstanding game. Hamzad Shimaya. If he was not on your radar a few nights ago, perhaps he is now. Well, he's gonna fight next week. Doesn't matter when. Is that today, tomorrow? Is that what? That's probably why he consistently wants to fight because he lived in a gym and he wanted to make money. Probably. That was his paycheck. And on top of that, I think they said for like four or five fights, something like that, he didn't take no damage. And he finished them off in like the first round. So he took no damage. He finished off so quick. He's not even tired. He's like, I'll fight tomorrow. Like There you go. So I know, like you said, probably the paychecks are a yeah. lot nicer in the UFC. Mm. He's like, why not? Fight, I'm so hungry. If you have fight, give me fight. <laughs> when, when one, Monster. Play. I'm gonna be champion here. 77 kilo. I was in good shape and no injury for after first fight. I go to Dana White. I said, give me one more fight. It was too easy. He said, yes, we really do it. And he did. Ten days later. You see people normally fight like months. This guy went straight on. <laughs> if anything, he'll probably fight the next day. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. If they could set up that quick, yeah. they would have. I'm a wrestler from Chechnya. Left my dreams and uh, come with my family to Sweden. Now this is trouble here. When I saw how hard he was working, outworking everyone. I mean, this is Khabib like pressure. Yeah. Khabib like pressure. Win for Hamzat Jemayev. Here's a wrecking ball. Wow. We have ourselves a new star. They're gonna smash everybody. Give what? me, give me champion. 84 kilos, 77 kilos. They're gonna smash both. Two wins, 10 days, the <laughs> UFC record. I was feeling to fight one more. I tell you, I don't know why he said, go home and uh, we... He's like, Dana, one more tomorrow. <laughs> Two was One not more I smash. Two was not in our smash. We'll we find somebody. Few can match the harsh reality that forged Hamza Chumayev. The Chechnya is totally different when you grow up in the war. He was in the school and he had a good life, he had the bread, but we didn't have that. I moved here and they bring us to immigration. We get that one room. My sisters, me and mom, everyone's living in the same room. Wow. That was hard. A lot of people talking about I'm from the ghetto, I'm from this and that. <laughs> it's not the same thing. 
the time is like 12 o'clock at night to midnight. I've done like four trainings today, but you can't rest. Four trainings in one night. I'm doing like the fifth training now. Wow. His trainer must be exhausted. Nobody see this animal like here, but these animals take over. <laughs> <laughs> Why he you out? Sometimes yeah. you lose when you fight tough well, guys, man. Who give you? You'll find out. Belt. I have blue belt. I'm gonna choke you out. He's like, who give you? But I said, Islam says that. Who give this guy a black belt? Yeah, I see. I see. I've seen <laughs> someone say this before. Islam says it. <laughs> you can go ahead and try there, buddy. You have to give me your black belt to me. The Gerald Marshall fight. Like, everyone was saying that like, uh, Gerald is, has the most submissions in the UFC. Kamza has taken a step up the, in class. What else can you say, man? 17 seconds tonight. Congratulations. Seven, <laughs> 17 second knockout. That's. He better have taken that black belt. That's like Mike well. Tyson shit. Like, God. that's crazy. Baby. Well, hey, man, no argument for me. Well, you have truly taken this sport by storm. You have had success in two divisions. The guy's special. He's, I've been in this game my whole life. I've never seen anything like him. He's special. He's different. He wants to fight again. So. You know, I've never been in a position where who's next. How do we do, how do we get him a fight? I am the wolf, brother. <laughs> so hungry. <laughs> we we'll, we'll eat everybody. <laughs> that determination is crazy. It sounds you, very demonic. No wonder why they say he's the psychopath. I eat everybody. I smash, then I eat. I'm the wolf, brother. I eat everybody. Hungry. One of the most special fighters I've ever seen, if not the most special guy that I've ever come across. And he kept telling me leading up to this fight, you think I'm a wrestler. You think I'm a wrestler. Wait till you see my hands. And holy shit. He wasn't lying. <laughs> Crazy. I'm good now. I'm, 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 I'm healthy. Like, I'm doing training here. It's like in Chechnya. It's like... I think I'm gonna be ready in August to smash somebody. <laughs> a year though, no fight, and obviously he's probably trained as as the build up came, but that's a long time out. Yeah, it's because there was COVID, wasn't it? Yeah, but he, he had COVID there. complications. He had COVID oh. complications. Do you remember? I think we watched another video and they said his breathing was fucked. Remember? Oh yes, I remember. You, yeah, yes. so that was all that. Oh, I'm again. Huh? DC, DC's again? everywhere. This guy loves <laughs> When you look at Lee, he's a tough guy, and he would seem to be the toughest guy that you've ever fought. I hope he will be. I want to go in the war and uh, feel bad in the fights. I want that. You feel something, yeah. Oh, my fights was uh, go in and uh, no blood, nothing, you know. Not fun. I have nine fights, but all fights I win so easy, you know. One see some war with someone. Mad. He wants a challenge. Yeah. Sleep. Sleep him. Everybody in the octagon with. Who would you like to see next when you step into the octagon? Everybody, everybody. I come here for everybody. Kill everybody. I'm the champ. I'm the king. Kill everybody. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, he has given up <laughs> four fights. He just sounds like a machine. Like he's just been programmed. Like he's just not human. This Honestly, guy. he sounds. Yeah. <laughs> see, he's only been hit twice. The fuck? That's, no wonder he always looks clean. Yeah. But I execute everything that we train, you know. And that's why he's always ready for the next fight. The result, and I was asking for another fight. Burns gave him the fight he wanted. You know, he's saying he wants a challenge and he wants to go war. Them two went to war. We'll uh -huh. see it now, I think. But a lot of the guys turned the fight down. I want to fight the best guys in my division. Give me the guy that wants to fight. The UFC has found a willing opponent to face Burns next. He may be the hottest prospect in the division's history. I see Kamza in a few years becoming 
absolutely a mega star. He's only had like three, four fights in the UFC and already he's getting like more followers, more social media traffic. My last fight was July 10. I was looking forward to get another fight. It was very hard to get another fight. But whenever she might have fought, I kind of knew that was the next step for him. I'm the champ. I'm the king, brother. Don't need to talk about it. Everyone knows that now. I'm here. Take over. The closer he gets to the fight, he gets more focused. So his trainer partner in the UK was a guy from Birmingham. And as he his English was slowly improving, he was training with his Birmingham guy. So if you listen carefully, he's a UFC fighter as well. He got like a bit a of a Birmingham accent. twang because oh. he just hanged with his Birmingham guy all the time. So he just adopted that yeah, accent. Yeah, like naturally. Yeah. So if you listen to it carefully, you'll hear like the end of his words. He's got a bit of brummy to him. Because yeah. <laughs> he gets more aggressive. You get in the eye of the tiger, you get in the tunnel vision. I don't care. I'll fight everyone. I come here to take my money and kill everybody. So you can hear it a little bit. Eat banana. Grinds everyone away. I don't care. He will be down. I will smash his face. I will be stand up. I will knock him out. You know. Don't care, brother. You are still the underdog. What's your comment on being the underdog? It don't matter. You know, matters what. Of course, course he's underdog. Okay. King is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Let's go. See you Saturday, bud. Him and McGregor—they're not the same weight class, are they? Don't think so. McGregor is lighter. I don't know. I think he's lighter. I'm really bad with who's in what weight class. That's one thing I need to work on. It would on. be interesting to see them two up against each other. They're saying... Obviously, if they were the same weight class. DC... thing is, McGregor's put on quite a bit of weight, so they might actually be a similar weight class now. But DC, he's trying to push out a fight for McGregor and Islam next. Oh, is it? Yeah. Interesting. Don't know if they'll go with it, but that's what yeah. he's trying to do. I can't see you every minute. Come on backstage, smash your face. Damn, little fret over there. Power. Every now and again, an athlete comes along who captivates the attention. Guys, too strong. Too weak. Too strong. He, this was a mad fight. I have the king. I have the best there. Everybody. He's the biggest man I've ever seen. I wouldn't want to fight him. <laughs> well, glad he is. That's why no one will remember your name. If you're going to try, go all the way. I'm going to show Dana to everyone. I'm not here just to be in a normal fight. Kamza is an elite wrestler. Yeah. He's just like, dragging him around. This could mean losing girlfriends, wives, and maybe your mind. Go all the way. Every morning before the work, I go out and running, you know, like you see the big house, nice house, nice apartments. And... That was clean. Always was thinking how I'm going to get this money and do something for my money. life. She's going to be happy, you know. Oh, big I come to this world when it's World War. and. Uh, He's literally been raised in a war. Like, you can't get worse than that. No, of course. And he's seen people die. He must have seen his family and friends die. His whole life as a kid was survival. That's why he's such a fighter. Yeah. And in one of his most recent fights, he said, give me a rifle. Yeah, yeah. And he'll go and to Palestine. And I'll go to Palestine. Palestine. Yeah. Like, he's got this warrior character within him. He's like a war soldier who's yeah. put on gloves and he's just in the UFC now. Mm. But he got dropped there as well. He kept fighting. I was bleeding too much, you know, I power and grind uh, enough to go for my coach said. Yeah, it was a hard time with all food and... 
He was fast in this fight as well. So he was faster and he went into fight. Oh my and he God. had a maddest fight. And he got pushed, like he got he dropped he got dropped at one point. He was still punching while on one knee. Like mad fight. This is madness, Joseph. It's fine. War against Russia and then the people of Chechnya. War against we haven't even seen what he can do. No problem, Now I'm happy as everything is fine and good. I hope this will be stay like perfect. What a fight! That's a clear face. If you're going that's the test he wanted though he kept saying i want to be tested he said he wanted war someone with war inside that's, them. that's that was that. and this guy gave it to him and he hamza was bleeding bears he hardly has any damage he got on knocked his out face. as well yeah and um that's the war he's been asking for and he it's a shame it. it landed when he was fasting though <laughs> it just made it i harder. mean it just shows how strong he is mentally and physically because when you fast, it's not easy. No food, no water, yeah, nothing. Yeah, no water as well. Nothing. And you're fasting from sunrise until sunset. Yeah. It's a long... And you've got a UFC fight, biggest fight of your life. Draining. With like well, far, millions of though. people around the world watching and like probably 50,000 people in the it stadium. It just shows how strong he is. Men that's mental strength. Wise. Mental strength, yeah. yeah. To try, go all the way. Otherwise, don't even start. I spoke to Dana uh, earlier this week and he said that um, maybe someone on this card could be next for Nate Diaz and I think a lot of people think that's he was meaning you. Hey Diaz, let's go brother, let's go. I have Matt Chichimana. Yeah, yeah, they're coming at me with him and I'm like, hold on, don't disrespect me like that. You try to uh, offer me a fight with a rookie, I'm cool. You got four fights in the UFC? Right. Don't even talk my name. I'm gonna get some smoke, bro. Let's see who is the real gangster. I'm gonna take everything from this UFC, brother. Now, now I am a UFC, brother. Obviously, we asked him about Hamzad. He said he, he doesn't want to do it. He said Hamzad's a rookie and he's not on his level. Is that just not gonna happen? Listen, man. Hamzad is a straight murderer. He's a killer. He's an absolute savage. And I don't blame anybody for not wanting to fight Hamzad. Uh, we got it done. That's the fight he wanted. We made it. And uh, here we are. <laughs> He's like, fuck these interviews. Say something to my face, bitch. <laughs> I love it. He don't play. <laughs> He's not playing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was saying it happened. I apologize, everybody. I am in very weird water chair. As bummed out as everybody is, this is the right move. Uh, this needed to be canceled. All right, next fighter to the scale, the undefeated Hamzat Shimaev. 178 and a half. 178 and a half, weight. the official weight for Hamzat Shimaev. The fight's breaking out at the press conference to canceling the, con the press conference. Hamzat missing weight wasn't one of them. But, you know, sometimes things don't play out the way you expect them to. And the new card now, Hamza Chimaev will fight Kevin Holland. Kevin Holland and Hamza got into it backstage yesterday. Lots of things were said. <laughs> They're going to fight tomorrow now, so. So he didn't fight Nate Diaz because he went overweight. He was overweight, and they, I think the press conference backstage was just a mess, and Nate Diaz was kicking off, and I think he just cancelled it. There was too much factors too from much he said heat. he couldn't even talk about so but a lot of people did say so this is the theory so Nate Diaz was being very difficult towards the end of his contract because that's his last contract fight at the UFC and um so what they they said they basically fed him to the wolf by saying you're gonna fight Hamza he didn't want to because he probably knows he's gonna get battered because this guy's young and hungry and he's retiring like he's coming to the end of his career and um he wants someone easy and simple 
Yeah, he just wanted to know more about Hamzat's like, like you say, you don't, no one really wants to fight Hamzat. And the good thing with Hamzat done that fight is he would have probably battered Nate, let's be honest, because of obviously Nate's not at his prime anymore. And he would have won over a lot of Nate Diaz fans because his fan base is quite big, which is probably what UFC wanted because then Nate's out and then Hamzat grows even more in their product. Mm. grows further mm. but then i think they towards the end apparently nate diaz and the usc made up and they came to, like they've sorted their issues that they had and apparently they're saying that they made hamza miss weight on purpose and caused that scene because they wanted to cancel the nate diaz one because nate's been has been in the game for so long with the usc and they felt bad they didn't want to ruin his reputation they thought you know what fuck before they didn't care because it was being a pain to them but now yeah. they kind of made up they're like you know what all right cool and then they caused this thing and started it like this. Mm. That's the theory. It's a theory. It doesn't mean it's true, but that's what people are saying. Could be. It makes sense. I'm ready for everything. I can do 10 fights one day. Whoop his ass! He does. Batters him. Guys from was in UFC, they changed their life and they live on good, you know. Why not me? I'm building myself. Tapped. One of the one of the best fighters in the world. It's justified because nobody wants to train with him. Because he gives everyone head. Dangerous guy here. I gotta cover for everyone. Everybody, I kill everybody. I smash. Ah! Insanity is sane to them. Is the insane that becomes something. Not the, same people. the UFC and Fight Island, everybody was happy to see you. They were excited. They talked about you. You heard the reaction tonight. The fans were not happy with you. I don't care. I care about my family. I care about my career. I care about my money. So we'll be fighting if you're sane. I'm going to make some history. Do you believe him now?